So let's look at how to randomize stuff, how to generate random numbers or whatever. So the way I like to do it is grab a signal generator and let's look at what values that gives us by using a number displayer and I'll give it full decimal places. So I plug that into the displayer and play time and if you look at this chart it kind of gives you an idea of what the values are doing it's going it's kind of a sine wave type of thing going from 0 to 1 and back again and that's shown over there but you can also give it um, if I just pause it give it a pause time and reduce the sweep seconds the sweep seconds is how long it takes to get from one point to another point so let's put that to 0 so we just get a value and then a value and this pause time is how long it pauses at the next value it gets to. So it's a 1, there's a 0, that's a 1, 0, and so on. Um, now the, the values that it goes to are dictated by these ranges. You've got this max range, so if I go like that, then it will go from 0 to a number between 0 and 1, and then back to 0, like that. And you can do the same with this, so we can increase that to be between 0 and 1. So now it goes, it looks for, a, it chooses a minimum range, a minimum value it wants to go to within this range and goes to that. And then it finds the maximum value it wants to go to within this range. So it's actually purely random when it goes up and purely random when it goes down. And now if you make that really short, you just get random values, a new random value every single frame, um, which is pretty awesome. But for now we'll keep it like every half second it changes. So that's one thing. Um, another thing, it, another method is using a randomizer. The randomizer has different modes. Let's just put it on to give it three ports. So. Um, it randomly chooses one and sends a signal from that port and none of the others. Uh, kind of like a selector, but it uses a random one uh, in these different modes. That one is no repeat. So let's just get a, a timer. We'll make it, when it finishes, loop. So it just starts again. And I'll make it half a second again. And we'll use this pulse to send into randomize. So when this finishes it will randomize to a different value again. So if I put it onto true random it will just be a purely random number and if we hook it up over here just move that down uh, you can use this active port which sends a value which is 0 when A is chosen, 1 when B is chosen, 2, 3, 4 so on. So as it as it chooses a random number, it'll send what what number channel it is to the displayer. Uh, so on true random, it doesn't matter which one it chooses, it'll just choose a random one. If you choose no repeat, then it will never repeat the same one. So every half second you can see it changing to a different one. Now there's shuffle. When the scene starts and time starts running, then it chooses it pre-shuffles what order these are going to be in and then it just loops through that order. So now it's chosen 2, 1, no, 1, 0, 2, 1, 0, 2 and it just keeps on looping through that. Um, now what if you wanted to shuffle it but then um, so that it goes through every single one but then you want to reshuffle it when it gets when it's gone through every single one. That's just copy that setup like that. Um, now there's kind of a hacky way of first you put down a sculpt because because of the way we're going to do it. Then we're going to put on a chip and we're going to put the randomizer into the chip. Uh, let's get a counter. Um, if we copy that, we can count how many times it's gone through. So if we say there are three uh, things it can choose from, then once the third one gets is uh, gotten to, 
So when that timer triggers, it will randomize that and it will add to that. And then once that's fill, filled up, when it's been gone through three times, then we want to destroy itself. So because that surface snapped onto that um, sculpt, the whole thing will dis disappear. So now for play time, oh, we've got a, another one down there. So we're looking at the bottom one now. Let's turn these off. So it goes through three times and then it just destroys itself. This is so that we can use an emitter to um, emit this object at different times. So we don't need speed. We want it to uh, try and keep trying to emit every um, all the time, every frame. Uh, but we want only one of them to exist at a time. So if this still exists, then it won't emit a new one. But then when it gets destroyed, it'll emit a new one. Um, and we want to emit with wires so that the wire coming out of here going into there and the wire coming out of here going back into there will still work when it's uh, emitted. So now if I play time, so now we're getting a different order every time but it's still just shuffling through those. So let's change this number. Um, let's move this stuff over here and we can change this number to the full 10 but we can then plug that into the counter's target value to make sure that's always the same and now it'll go through 10 individual options make sure it goes through all of them and then it'll create a new one of these objects um, and go through again so you can kind of keep shuffling um, and you could trigger the shuffle in however you, however way you want. I'd like to thank Mobius DT, MDKD99, The Common People, and all my other supporters for making this tutorial possible. If you'd like me to keep making these tutorials and helping creators across the internet, you can find out how to support me in the link in the description. Thanks for your consideration, and I'll see you in the next one.